I describe myself um, typically like my grandson. He brought me a Mr. Grumpy T-shirt and it said, this is my happy face on it. So <laughs> if my grandson thinks I'm grumpy, I probably am. The players I work with think I'm very grumpy. Uh, perfectionist, um, mediocrity is not an option. Um, I don't mark them very highly in the shots. If they're good shots, it'll be four out of 10, five out of 10, because there's always got to be room for improvement. So I'm a hard taskmaster. I got into golf because I had a bad injury at 16 and I couldn't play football any longer. So I turned to golf, simple as that really. Uh, football was my first love, but I turned to golf. I uh, never had a handicap in my life. So I became a pro with no handicap. And my first two rounds of golf as a professional were 109-100. The greatest thing about my job is the success of the players. I laugh at my football team because we're not very good. Sheffield Wednesday, unfortunately. Um, I have to laugh at them because otherwise I'd cry. Um, I like a good joke. Uh, I spend quite a lot of time with the caddies and they make me laugh sometimes. The one thing that will surprise people is I always wear black and I hate flying. I fly about 250,000 miles a year. Not a lot of fun. <laughs> a typical working day, up at five o'clock, go for a 10 mile run, have breakfast, go in the gym for two hours, get on the range by nine o'clock, and spend 12 hours with the players and then go to bed. Typical working day. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> uh, a typical working day is uh, get up. I don't like breakfast as a meal, so I don't spend much time over breakfast. I'll get onto the range. I'll probably be first on the range, waiting for the players. We can spend anything from 12, 13 hours a day out there with the players um, and then spend a little bit of time with the caddies in the evening asking them, you know, how the player was on the course. Was he, you know, in good form or, you know, and just get to know more information about your players from the caddies. So you really, you're always working is the answer to that. Yeah, the players do talk an awful lot about off-course things, you know, and personal things, but that never goes any further than myself and the player. Um, and yeah, they can offload on me, which is good. You need somebody to offload. I need somebody on my wife. I'll off offload on my wife, so she's got a great burden. So, you know, the players will often unload on me, really.